Well, hello, hello, and welcome back. This video is old. It's from April 9th. Um, all of the videos that you see come out will always be a month or two behind. I still have plenty of videos from back at that time. And I've told you before in previous videos that the changes that I've done which are now permanent and no changes will be done and haven't been done for over a month but these are all old videos that are coming out and you probably won't see the permanent changes um, of all the brown bedding and and taking the tree house out um, till just before Christmas sometime maybe even after I have so many videos. Anyway, what you see here is he at the end of his terrarium, he's in the water house. Whisper does drink an awful lot of water. Um, as you notice, he's standing up inside that house at the end. That's his back, you see. And he's got his head up over the cup in there that is full of water. So, let me explain this tree house that is no longer in there anymore. Um, before I took it completely out, I did put it on its back laying down where the wheel is in this video. And then I had the table in front of it that you see in front of the wheel. It was in front of the tree house laying down on its back and the wheel was moved to where the tree house is. And that's how I had it for a while. And then I ended up taking it totally out um, because he preferred the black house at the end there and a, another house, which is a maze with 18 holes that I had purchased for him. And I had put that underneath this table. And you will see why in the future. Um, so there was no need for the treehouse period. Uh, and being that it's summer, it's, it was very hot even laying down on its back. I had the plexiglass on top. I had his food dishes on top of that. You will see those videos in the future. So that's one of the layouts I had. And then I took the tree house totally out. And the wheel is where that black house is in the corner now. This table is where the wheel is now with a maze with 16 holes underneath it with a hole in either end of that um, and his black house in the back right corner it's where the water house is and like I said the wheel is over where the black house is this is today and how it's been for a month treehouse no longer in there so it's a permanent layout but I, but I also have some exciting news on Temu, T-E-M-U, it's like an AliExpress store, only it takes, um, you know, two days to 12, 12 to 15 days to get your order, not a month or two months. And it's guaranteed that if you don't get it within the time they say, you get a $5 refund. So what I want to say is I ended up buying tunnel tubes. They look like dryer hoses that go from your dryer to outdoors, exhaust, uh, and portable air condition hoses. They're smaller. They're for large hamsters and him. Um, two, let's put it this way. Two large hamsters could walk through there side by side together and in height as well. So I have two of those and they're lime green and I bought them from there. I have them set up today and I've had them set up in there for about a month now with his permanent changes. He so, so loves traveling through them instead of underground through the awful dusty bedding. If anybody's got that white bedding and they've invested in several packages and they're not ready to change to the brown, which I have, um, 
permanently the brown paper, not this toilet tissue stuff that when it ages, it gives off all this dust and also baking soda that they put in it flies up all over the glass and they have to breathe it in. I had to breathe it in. So anyway, just to let you know all the changes and, and the Timu tunnels he so loves, so, so, so loves. I put sunflower seeds in the beginning and each end. I have two in there, one bent in a U shape, one going from one end to the other end, and he uses them all day long every day. I'll apologize for the last several videos. I've been saying that he has a final layout, permanent, that uh, won't have any changes in the future that you won't see them until I put out several old videos first. Uh, I have months worth of videos to put out first and, and that you wouldn't see it until before Christmas or after. But I've inserted some pictures, two pictures. Uh, I couldn't get it all put my hand in there all at once. So as soon as I open the right side of the slide in terrarium, I give you a shot there and then I give you the other end what it looks like and that's how it's going to stay permanently so um, they're coming up in just a minute you will see those pictures now you still see him because he still has to come out to eat and drink and go into the sand bath um, and you see him coming out the ends going to where he's going so those will be in future videos in the permanent layout that I have. He's getting older, so I, I, I can't do changes for him. Um, and I don't want to see him going underground and breathing all that stuff in. So the above ground tunnels is far superior than him burrowing underground. And the reason being is because the bedding is so unnatural with all this dust that flies out of it. Underground, the ground is solid soil and you don't have all that. It's, you know, moist underground when they dig deeper. It's not dusty like this unnatural bedding for them to breathe in. Anyway, he's been to the vets twice. He's had a full physical. He's, I'll explain more of that later in the future. He's uh, very very healthy he's had his toenails clipped twice by them the first girl would not allow me to film her clipping them the second girl did I've clipped them twice myself I'll tell you more about that in the future the cost in Canada for the vets was 120 for the physical before taxes $37 with taxes for the toenails anyway we'll talk more of that in the future and I will show you that clip in the future once I put out the video with his final setup of his home. This vet that I took him to is a little titch more expensive than the average local to me. Um, though it is closer and it was easier in the heat to get him there in home where it's cooler. So it was worth the little extra money being that it's closer to me for traveling with him and in his little Amazon carrier. Anyway, have a nice day. We're at the end of the video, and like I said, we will show you, or I, there is no we, Whisper can't show you, um, in the future, the little snippet of their hands at work clipping of one holding Whisper and the other one clipping. And that video will be in the future, like I said. It will be once I show the videos that are recent of his home changes like you do see in the pictures. Anyway, have a nice day and thank you for stopping by. Take care.